Hi, this is Leah from Blue Whale Art Studio, and today we're going to be working on texture galore with skeleton leaf. This is a project that I had done and many people had asked me about. The supplies you're going to need are skeleton leaves, Mod Podge, foam brush, flat black spray paint, metallic rub-ons, cut and clean gourd, a clear coat, I use a Krylon gloss, and a pair of sharp scissors. Let's get started. So you've already cut and cleaned your gourd and you're going to spray paint it black with the flat black spray paint. Then what I do is, while that's usually drying, I will come and trim the thick part of the vein in the leaf, the middle vein, and trim that out just so that it will lay down flat because that thick part, it's hard to get it to lay down flat when we start attaching it to the gourd. So I go through my package that I have of the skeletal leaves and they are available on our website at www.bluewhalearts.com and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward the video while I go through and do all the cutting of my leaves. Alrighty, now that we're finishing up the leaves, for the size bowl that I'm doing, I'll probably use between 50 and 60 leaves. Maybe not quite that many. It depends on the size of your leaves as well. And now we're going to be using the Mod Podge, the foam brush, and of course your gourd is going to be already cut and cleaned and spray painted black. I tend to use the gloss Mod Podge. I just like the way it looks better, but any of them I'm sure will work. When you're putting it on, don't put the Mod Podge on sparingly because you're really going to want your leaves to stick on there. Um, and you're going to be able to, and you're going to um, layer them. So you're not going to try to just put them in. And try not to put them in a pattern because what we're going after here is actually the texture of the leaf. And so by layering, layering them and overlapping them, and there's just no wrong way of doing this. You just want to cover your whole bowl with the leaves. And as you can see, I do use a lot of the Mod Podge. And you'll see that I'm also, when I'm working with the leaves, I am not brushing the leaves, I am tapping the leaves or pouncing on them. If you try to brush the leaf, they will end up ripping on you. And so what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to just go ahead and fast forward. You'll be able to see the whole process on the whole gourd. And I actually will come back after the gourd is dried, which is, takes about 24 hours to do the final steps on what we need to do with the gourd. Have fun!
Now that the gourd is dried, it takes anywhere between 12 and 24 hours for the gourd to dry, depending how thick the leaves are and how heavy the Mod Podge is. After it's completely dried, then you're going to give it two coats of black flat spray paint, letting it dry in between each coat. And then um, once it's dried from there, we're going to take and trim the edge where there is some overhang of the leaves. You can go ahead and just trim that off. This is really a fun project that can be done um, with kids because you can't do it wrong. It's just a fun, fun project to do. You never have any gourds come out the same. I even thought about um, getting some of those cardboard boxes that you can you can buy at the Michaels or Joann's or any place like that. And you would do the same process where you spray paint it black, put the leaves on it, and then black again. And then we're going to come in with the rub-ons. But I thought, boy, that would be a really nice gift box. So I've got my edge all trimmed and now with the rub-ons, they're a wax-based product. They come from, I want to say they started with ceramics because I remember growing up and my mother doing ceramics and I have a set of hers, believe it or not still. Um, they go a very long way and you just rub the wax, the paste on your finger and then you're just going to lightly go over it so that you're highlighting the texture of the leaves. This is something that you really need to use your fingers, let them get dirty, because if you're wearing the gloves, you're not going to be able to feel the texture. And so it's just one of those projects where um, I love it because I can get my hands dirty and it's okay. So I'm going to speed up the video while I go around and do the texture and then I'll catch you for the, the final step. Now that I'm just about finished up here of putting the metallic rub-ons on, I am going to hit it with a clear coat and your project is ready to be trimmed. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this project. Please check us out at www.bluewhalearts.com. Sign up for our newsletter, like us on Facebook, and follow us on our YouTube channel. Have a wonderful day crafting.